All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please inform me if you have any problem or difficulty. First of all, I miss you, miss you all of you, and uh, I'm so glad that I'm back home, and uh, we are going back to normal. Uh, now, today we are going to talk about many things, and we will start with some Ustad uh, from uh, Indonesia. Uh, you know... <clears throat> Uh, before before I start, just to inform you, my Skype is open, but only Muslims, they can call me. Any Muslim, he is polite, he is willing to discuss with us, uh, he is welcome. And in the same time, please maintain your good language in the chat. Anyone he say or uh, call names, use bad language, doesn't matter. You claim to be Christian, Hindu, Jews, atheist, we will block you. So please be respectful, speak nice, and we are here to speak as adult, not as a bunch of uh, street uh, people who have a dirty language so we are going to discuss some issues you know uh, 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 in Indonesia they have uh, uh, they have a big problem <clears throat> in front of me here I will put in the screen a website and this is an article written by Indonesian I have no idea who wrote this article I have nothing to do with it and I am just showing you what I saw Abdul Samad who studs uh, Jaman now I don't know what even that means. Uh, but what uh, uh, took my attention that in this new Mandala newspaper or magazine, uh, they are talking or having an article about Mr. Uh, Abdul Samad or Samad. I don't know how to say his name. Here it says that Mr. Abdul Samad, he make or he collect an average of six thousand dollars per sermon six thousand dollar and you know I was asking myself a man of God serving God in a country it's called Indonesia which I love very much I love Indonesian people but it's not a secret that Indonesia is a poor country the majority are very poor why he need six thousand dollars per sermon is that to pay his rent is that to pay for his uh, salad per sermon so if he do four sermon a month he make just from this twenty four thousand dollar in Indonesia that will make you live better than a king and that is telling me and here you can see the list of how much money he is making you know so that's telling me that those people they are not serving God those are serving their pocket out of this poor Indonesian people this country need universities need manufacturers need 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 yet those poor people they are willing to pay a man who say nothing speak nothing he know nothing and I challenge him to come and debate me anytime and I will show you that this guy he have no idea what he's talking about and even who recite the Quran I die laughing I saw some videos of him <clears throat> as an example this video here satisfy lost self in Islam I cannot play the video for you you can play it but you will see in this video this guy he quote for us the Quran says that a Muslim a good Muslim is the one who protect his uh, private part and it's not lawful for him to have any sexual activity with anyone except what is lawful for him his wives or his slaves so he's teaching you in the year 2019 go on slaves and rape them and that is supposed to will satisfy the lust of a Muslim. This is what he quote for us. I wish I can play the video. Anyway, you can search the video here. It's a quote, Satisfy Lost Self in Islam by Ustaz Abdul Samad. In different video, a person asked him, <clears throat> he have a paper in his hand, a reading from, uh, handshaking with non muharram Muharram in Islam, <laughs> it is somebody, uh, I mean, it's funny, non muharram uh, like if you have a family member you can shake hand like you know you can shake hand with the male uh, he is uh, your uncle as an example you are you are a female so 
a question, a very important question, and this is why we pay him six thousand dollars uh, uh, every sermon because we want to know if it's okay to shake hand with a stranger or not. The only one who can give us the answer is this guy, and then he tell you that good Muslim women she put a tissue over her hand and then she shake hands with you. Wow, and that supposedly make her and uh, make you following Allah. You know, I would like uh, Ustaz Abdul Samad to explain to us how the Prophet, peace upon him, he allowed the Muslim women and Muslim men to share bed together without marriage for three days, three nights. It's called muta. And you know that this is not temporarily marriage. This is nothing. It's even the name is muta, which means sexual pleasure. So, how you are so conservative following Islam? And then you say to us that you have a prophet. He taught the following. <clears throat> uh, let us see the hadith. So people will not say we are making things up. So a Muslim woman, she cannot shake hands. If she want to do that, she have to put a tissue or a, or or a, or a little uh, fabric of her hand, and then she can shake hand with you. And by the way, since when that? I mean, where in Islam it says you can shake hand with someone he is a man by doing such a thing? Where this guy's getting this from? He's just fabricating. I challenged the Muslim, by the way, to show me where he got this from. Ask him what is the difference in the front of us we have the prophet speaking and here there is a false translation as an example he says their marriage should last three nights it doesn't say anything about marriage in this hadith this is the hadith in front of me it says that the messenger of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal ayyuma rajulin wa imra'a tawafaqa fa'isharatu ما بينهما ثلاث ليال فإن أحبا أن يتزايدا أو يتتاركا تتاركا Very simple. There's no marriage. Any man, any woman, they want to share sexual relationship together for three days, three nights. If they like to increase, they increase. If they like to decrease, they decrease or they could they, 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 they uh, lift each other. What is the marriage? What is the word marriage? Who want to show me the word marriage in this? But it appears in the translation. And they put it for you here temporary marriage. Okay, can we have temporarily shake uh, uh, hand, hand shaking? So in Islam, we can have sex, it's called temporary sex, but we cannot have temporary hand shaking, according to Abdul Samad Ustaz. I mean, do you see how conservative this religion is? We can go in the bed and have boom boom, moom moom, doom doom. But we cannot shake hands, brother. Haram, brother. It's haram. Haram. We are very conservative people, brother. If we ask Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik, he have a different idea. Zakir Naik, he will not agree with this guy. Let us call him. Tiranem, tiranem. Tiranem, tiranem. Tiranem, tiranem. I told you don't call me and I told you you will not answer you hey brother we have a problem here because your brother in Indonesia Ustaz Abu Samad he said that you can shake hand with the Muslim just put some tissues in the top of it this is an idiot and he do not know what he's talking about it's haram in Islam because this is forbidden and he is not talking for him uh, uh, brother hold on don't go crazy what about the Prophet allowing you to have a temporarily women in the bed so temporarily shake handing is haram, but temporarily women in the bed is halal. First of all, it's abrogated and it's not valid no more. Hey, abrogated or not, how and what kind of religion allow a Muslim man to have a temporarily a woman in the bed? So it was lawful, now it is not lawful. What kind of God he makes such a thing lawful anyway? Like, was it in the time of Moses that a man, he can have a woman temporarily in the bed? 
It was lawful in the time of Isa that somebody can have a woman temporarily in the bed. So what happened? Allah, he make it temporarily and the second day he changed his mind. First of all, I'm not going to alter you. And I'm going to call my lawyer. And I'm going to sue you. Uh, Zakir Naik, you threw me or not, you have no answer. What is the reason and what is the logic? We cannot shake hands, but we can shake them in the bed, brother. How you can explain that to me? First of all, Christian Prince, you are fake. And you are, it's, uh, throw me your faith. Throw me your faith, I will answer you. What had, what this had to do with my face, Zakir Naik? I want an answer. My face is not good looking. I look ugly. Don't you see no women want to marry me? I'm not like you. You know, you are sexy and you know it. But where is the answer? So you Muslims, you say we cannot shake hands with women, but we can have them in the bed. And temporarily, what kind of religion this religion is? And you claim that you Muslims are very conservative. Hello? Brother Zakir, are you there? Mm -hmm. He hang up. <clears throat> so when I listen to those who call themselves Muslim scholars, I found a bunch of, you know, jokers trying to make something out of nothing. Or they want to teach us that Islam teach you to be a, a mo like a person of modesty, a person who protect himself, a person who keep himself. So wearing hijab have nothing to do with being modest. Absolutely not Because what the point if women they are can be sale for sale anytime anyhow And then now Muslims they can have four women in the same time in the bed So I cannot have shake with four women. I can have them in the bed and Then I can divorce them after five minutes after I finish with them and then I will replace them with other four women There is no limit no limit. It can be four millions. It can 50 million as long as you can afford it so they try to fool us to make Islam look and present Islam as if it is a religion who they teach decency and modesty and women is a protected. But the fact that women in Islam is became nothing but a product, a product to be used and abused for buying and selling. Now, if we ask any Muslim, give me the reason for the prophet to allow such a thing that a Muslim woman and a Muslim man, they can go in the bed and Muslims with no I mean what I can say temper they put it between two brackets and look here He says their marriage should last for a three night. Have you ever heard of a marriage? By the way, what is the word marriage coming from? We do not know but for three nights. What about four nights? I mean why this guy is stuck with number three The Muslim they say the Christians are people of the Trinity, but yet everything in Islam is based on number three even even sexual relationship three night three days Hey brother, can I have it for half day? What is that? My Skype is open. If there is any Muslim would like to give us a call, please feel free. Only Muslims. Please, only Muslims. We will not take calls from non-Muslims. <clears throat> uh, we have Aga Abbas. He tried to call me before, but not today. Uh, let us hope that he is not uh, driving. <laughs> Look like he is driving as usual. All right. If there is any Muslim would like uh, to uh, to call us, please feel free. Uh, if you don't know how to find my ID in uh, uh, Skype, I will. Uh, you can give me your ID and I will call you and it's for free as you see. I mean, it's a Skype and you know And then the, the the issue we always receive from Muslims They try to present to us something is not exist in this in this if we can call it religion As an example, you know when you say to me that this is was halal which mean lawful and then it was not lawful Okay, where is the verse in the Quran that says this is not lawful? Because the one who said you can do that, you can have women temporarily in the bed, is in the Quran. When is the verse in the Quran saying that this verse is abrogated? And why God, he want to abrogate a verse he made just two weeks ago? Or two months ago? You see, we are not talking about a prophet abrogating the verse of other prophet who came 
a thousand year before him we are talking about the same man he says something in the morning he changes mind after noon the prophet of islam he remind me of someone working in the laboratory and he is examining things and this thing did not work he 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 know he say okay don't do it this is going to be god and what is the wisdom of this three days three not and okay what we got with this I wish I can go back on time. Get my video camera. I record the wedding of a three days, three night. How many wedding a day we have? How many Muslims practice in three days, three night? Honeymoon. Decency. It is part of belief, which is claiming to be coming from God. I don't see decency here. I see just only lust. And somebody driven by sexual desire and this man his name is Muhammad is a trying just to drive his men to believe in him by giving them open it's a hippie religion it's a totally a hippie religion you see they say to you we are we are conservative but the fact Islam is a hippie cult because until now we can have four women in the bed and unlimited number of slaves what if somebody have 1000 women slaves yes he can have the share the bed with four one 1000 women it's a hippie cult please uh, admins i don't know if there is admins in the chat uh, anyone use bad language don't force me to block you speak attack the topic don't attack anyone all right now if there is any ustad here we go actually some some of you asking the ustad to join us and uh, to call us live and to be uh, uh, to be in the part of the conversation where is that text uh, this text here jumping in front of me so i look at the wrong <clears throat> see people are asking muslims to call us and to show us really the good part of islam I see nothing good there I see just a man you know he 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 trying to do business he is the same as Abdul Samud Abdul Samud he makes six thousand dollars per sermon he remind me of no one except Muhammad if we ask ourselves a question what and how much money Jesus he used to ask for before you can meet him the answer is zero he never asked for a month a penny same as his disciples but if we go, we find that Muhammad in the Quran, he will not accept to see you unless you pay him. And not only that, Muhammad, he described Allah religion as a commerce, as it is a trade business. As you see, chapter 61, verse number 10. It's a business. And Muhammad, he promised the rich ones who invest in Islam to be in heaven. As an example, Muhammad, he promised Uthman ibn Affan because he gave him a lot of money. To be the first in heaven who are you Muhammad to promise people to go to heaven are you God who are you one of the clear proofs that somebody is a preaching a scam that he promised you heaven if you give him money obvious you see if you donate to Christian Prince Christian Prince cannot guarantee you heaven for he is no one who am I to, tell, to say to you, if you if you donate to me, you go to heaven? Muhammad, he do that. And he made it clear that you cannot even see him and come to his house unless you pay him. <clears throat> Why? Why in order to speak to a prophet of God who is doing you know he's a man of God what is the purpose oh who you believe when you want to consult the messenger of Allah in private spend something spend something have you ever heard of a religion like this before why you have to spend something in order to hear Ustad Abu Samad 
six thousand dollars you know in Indonesia with my respect to all Indonesian I love them I respect them and I believe they are very, very wonderful people but all of us we knew that there is hundreds of thousands of female Indonesian work abroad as made okay instead of giving a man six hundred thousand dollars for little speech and he say nothing there what about save your girls from working abroad there's more than a thousand and two hundred female killed in saudi arabia killed and they went to work there as maid to the point that yeah, the indonesian government they force to stop sending any females to saudi arabia for a while have you ever heard of a 1200 1, murder and none of them was found I mean, who is the one who killed her? They killed them, they raped them, they enslaved them, and they tortured them. And all the reason for that, because they are poor. You know, when you are poor, everybody take advantage of you. So a poor woman, doesn't matter, by the way, if she is a Muslim or not, we speak for a human right. We are not defending somebody because he's a Christian or a Muslim. We love those people who they are poor from Indonesia, regardless if they are a Christian, Hindus, Buddhas, Muslims, doesn't matter. So you give 6,000 to somebody to give you what? To give you a speech saying you have to put a tissue before you shake hands? And what you get from that? And not only that, he teach in the video that it's lawful for you to have a sexual relationship with your slaves. But according to Islam, a slave is, you know, depend in the sect, by the way, a slave is not necessarily someone you own. It can be somebody you pay. Because the Quran says it clearly that men are in charge of women because of they spend on them. Because what? Because they spend on them. So any female you spend on her, according to Muhammad, the man is in charge. Men are protectors and maintainers of women because Allah had men on one of them excel on the other and because they spend to support them from their means. So a female maid, according to Islam, she is considered as equal to a slave. She is lawful for him to have her in the bed because simply he support her from his pocket. What kind of religion this religion is? And what kind of a prophet he will not meet you unless you pay him? You know, I went to many poor countries. I refuse even to accept a donation. Actually, I made conditions that before we make the speech, we tell them that if you make a donation to this church, it's not going to be for me. Countries like Philippines, as an example. Those people, they need my donation. Why am I going to take donation from them? For sure, not everybody in Philippines is poor. I'm talking about the poor one. Do we have any Muslim want to say something to us? What kind of God, if you are rich, by the way, Muhammad, he copied Jesus, where he said that it's harder for a man to go inside the eye of a needle if he is rich, to go to heaven. He is copying Jesus. But Muhammad was a very, very, very rich man. And the funny, the Muslim, they fabricate a story saying to us, do you know that the prophet, when he die? He took money from a Jew, borrow money. He gave him even his weapon so he can get the money. Muhammad, he took money from, he killed all the Jews. What Jews? There's no Jews. And he took all their money. They fabricated stories to make to us or to make us believe that Muhammad was the most decent man who never took a penny from somebody. Muhammad, even he agreed and he admit that even steal sandals of dead men. And you can see that in Ibn Kathir. And even he killed a man and he took his donkey.
who is an Ustad from Indonesia is willing to call me and he is willing to show the world that Islam is a very very fantastic religion yeah this is what I meant I mean it's a, it's a it's very hard for a rich man to go inside the uh, uh, it's it's easier for a man to go inside the eye of a needle but I'm, I'm, I'm quoting what Muhammad said trying to copy Jesus one of you by the way he asked me about uh, 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 that Allah he said he is the truth and he is saying and I said in the video that Allah is copying Jesus is not Allah is copying Jesus this is Muhammad Allah he called himself that he is the truth trying to copy the name of Jesus Jesus says I am the truth and yet the Muslim they say to you where Jesus said I'm God one of the names of Allah is the truth do we have any Muslim would like to say something to us any Muslim would like to call us Any Muslim would like to call me after we finish broadcast the Muslim they will say like some of you say there is some Muslim making videos to refute me okay where are they they refute me but why you don't call me life and refute me life and then you take the video by calling me and you post it in your channel you win you win anyway simply those are fake they're a bunch of kids they don't even know how to say their prophet name correctly Any Muslim would like to call us. And you know what? I'm not going to ask you a question. You tell me what to ask you. What do you think? You tell me what to ask you. Anyone? obviously they have no answer and I understand you know I, if I am you I will not have an answer too. you see many people they say okay well uh, look like uh, uh, we are not having a smart Muslim to debate or etc or educated it doesn't matter actually the educated Muslim is the easiest to defeat I mean I'm talking about defeat his answer Will make it a lot easier because a, a, a kid who's ignorant he can say whatever you want I mean who is going to count on him what he say but you notice right away when we speak to somebody who have a PhD in Islam he cannot play much games it's very easy to destroy his argument and we have many videos like those with those who claim to have a PhD in Islam anyone he have a master in Islam in case you don't have a PhD Mangan, Mangan, are you a Muslim, my friend? Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, no problem, you can call me. We need a Muslim, please. Because here, you know, we don't want to do what Muslims do. Muslims, they take questions from Muslims only because they are afraid of if they take a question from a Christian, it's going to be fake a Christian. You know what I mean? Like there's a guy, his name is Yusuf State. He have a cell phone in his hand, live on TV. He hear the ring, but nobody's ringing. Actually, even the phone is not ringing. And then he says, answer, hello? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, uh, okay, you are Christian. Ah, uh, okay, uh-huh, mm, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. But nobody's talking. We heard nothing. They fabricate a call and they claim the one is calling the Christian because they have a pre-made questions they want to speak about them in their program and they make it look like as a Christian is calling 
here we don't do that here we have real challenge we want the ustad to call us not ham hum ho ha 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 ya ha 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 this is what they do and when i call the dean show they don't let me go through because it's a fake actually i have i have it recorded in youtube we have 15 dislike already but we don't have one muslim caller how how come contact bro gaming okay mr bro gaming are you there give me your uh, I saw him. He is calling me name, insulting me. But it's okay. I will take him. I will forgive him too. Give me your uh, Skype ID. I will call you, Mr. Bro Gaming from Indonesia. Anyone? Trust me, my friend. I want to go to heaven. If Islam is good for me, I will be the first to convert. I like to have uh, women there, man. man, man, man. But I'm worried about having 72 mother-in-law. I mean, why in the world a man, he want to have all those women? Especially if all of them, they have the same name, the same face, the same voice, and they sing the same song like Barbies. I mean, imagine you will have a lot of versions and all of them, they have the same look. So having one of them is the same as having a million. It's just a copy paste. So what the point? What the point? What the point, brother? Brother editor, create a brand name. Why is it the and what the point to have seventy women? They look the same. I will explain to you. First of all, let us say you have uh, something very beautiful, and because you use it, you abuse it and you break it, and now you are out of it. But because they have 72, so if one of them is break, you can use the other one. Thank you very much. What other one break? This is heaven. Nothing will break there. There's no, even your clothes will never be wrinkled. 72 women, none of them look different. They look exactly the same. So what the point? All right. Any Mohammedan? One of the uh, clear, 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 uh, uh, like uh, reason to believe in, in uh, or to discover a cult is somebody promising you stupid things. And I will explain to you what I mean by stupid things. What about this? You tell me what does that mean? In the heaven of Allah, Allah will give us women who we can see through their bones and we will see the marrow of their bones. Isn't it? This is stupid and disgusting. Who is the Ustad when I explain to us what is the point with the point, brother, to see a woman marrow bones? I mean, is, is that exciting for you? Are you going to get so excited if you can see the marrow of your wife? Hello? Marrow bones, marrow bones, marrow. My beautiful wife. Each time I see the marrow of your bones, I go crazy. I cannot resist the temptation of your bones and your marrow. And because of your marrow, I marry you. And because of your marrow, I'm with you. And because of your marrow, I'm going crazy. And because of your marrow, I'm here in heaven. Because of your marrow, I pray to Allah. Because of your marrow, I convert to Islam. Because of your marrow, I say jihada to get your marrow and your bones. Thank God my dog is not here now. Otherwise, he would go crazy after speaking too much about bones. 
What is this? This is a prophet and this is a God and he promised me in heaven I will have a lot of women and I will and they, they are transparent. What is more hilarious that they are transparent. Okay, hold on. I'm going crazy now. What in the world the purpose of having a woman she is a transparent and we see through? What what is that? I'm scared. You can search right now in Google for women X-ray. Uh, we paused the pictures before we show it to you. It's really crazy. There's women they are making like some certain kind of pose, which is funny, but it is X-ray. We're in high heels. I mean, that's 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 crazy. So if you want to convince me that the one who said that is a prophet. You did not convince me that he's a prophet. You just convinced me that this guy, he have a connection with Harry Potter. As simple as that. And actually now I am, if I was going to think to get married, because of this, now I'm not. I mean, imagine your wife, she take off her clothes. You see what? You saw marrow of her bones. You don't see her. I mean, you don't see even... Like you look at her legs, like what is that? Like what happened to you, my wife? Did you use too much Clorex? The idea is very simple. Those are Arab, they are obsessed with the white color. Muhammad, he exaggerate with his lies, claiming that they are so white to the point you can see through. Hmm? I don't have a dog. I'm just joking. <clears throat> if I have a dog, I will not be able to go anywhere. And by the way, another thing, as long as we are talking about dogs, I mean, what kind of a prophet he promised us if we convert to Islam, a brother, we are, you know, we cannot have dogs at home. Because dogs are nudges, dirty brother. What is that? Hmm? If you have a dog in your home, Allah will take it from your deeds. Every day until you go bankrupt. And by the way, I find it very funny that Muhammad he never have a problem with dogs. As an example, here in the time of Muhammad, in the lifetime of Muhammad, dogs used to go inside the 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 uh, uh, the, the main mosque of Muhammad, where Muhammad pray every day, and they pee, they pee in the mosque, and nobody clean about them. So how they became so dirty? I mean, how are dogs, they go inside the mosque and Muhammad the prophet is inside the mosque and the dog like, zzz, they unzip and zzz, 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 and they go and nobody clean and Muhammad never say, hey, go, go clean it. Not only they don't care for them coming and getting out, nobody clean it. That what it's called does not make sense. You know, you remember in the Bible how Jesus, he was upset from the Jews for just buying and selling in the yard of the temple, not inside the temple. And he said to them, you made the house of my father a bazaar, a market for buying and selling. So Jesus was so upset from just buying and selling. While Muhammad, he don't care if even dogs they piss inside the mosque and nobody clean after the dog it's a holy ground my friend and this is why i'm saying muhammad he cannot be a prophet because he have no jealousy for god he have a jealousy only for his wives he have a jealousy for his money but he have no jealousy for god you know muhammad always he claimed that he is defending god but the fact he used god it's not god who use him Who can prove me wrong? Who is a Muslim can prove me wrong? 
after we finish broadcast we will see many comments muslim saying christian prince you are a coward you are a liar you know okay you know okay you can say whatever you want but you cannot answer me say as you wish Anyone? What is this? Why Muhammad is not upset from dogs pissing inside the house of Allah? If Muhammad had jealousy for his God, he will not let dogs to do that and at least clean after it. By the way, later I'm going to post more videos in my other channel about my trip. So those who did not subscribe there yet, please subscribe so you can join us there. I'm looking at uh, Skype to see if I have anything, anyone, anyhow. Nothing. Until now, nothing. Not a single Muslim he texts me. Um Anyone? Where is the stud? So stud are there only to collect six thousand dollars from you for a sermon to tell you that if a woman she wanna shake hands she have to put a tissue over her hand. When we call them, they are not here. The stud is teaching you that you can go and buy a slave, and it's lawful for you to have the slave in your bed. That is what our stad are exist for. Where are they? Indonesian Muslims, where is your stad? Okay, this is my offer for the Muslim. And by the way, I have a great news for Indonesian uh, uh, people. I mentioned before that I have a gift for the Indonesian, but I will make a special video about it. I am going to give my translated book in Indonesian for all Indonesian for free. How is that? While your Ustaz Abu Samad, he is collecting $6,000 for sermon, I will give my books to Indonesian for free. Totally for free. I'm working in the book right now, and soon we will have it published in the Indonesian language, and you can download it for free as a gift for my beloved Indonesian Muslims and Christians and whoever want to learn All of us we need money don't take me wrong. I'm not rich But saving hundreds of millions is more important than me and the Lord will provide always the Lord provide Always the Lord provide Soon we will have it ready and I will publish it so you guys can download it. I will make a video about it when it's ready and uh, you all will know. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? So this is the job of this man? Well, why they are not calling us to defend Islam? Anyone?
They are not here. They are sad. They do not know how to say their prophet name correctly. They give you a funny, stupid answers, and they know nothing about Islam. They are just doing business. I mean, it's a great business. You go to Saudi Arabia, you stay there for a few months, you come back with a hat, you put it in your head, and you call yourself Ustad. And then you will make 6000 in every speech, and later they will give you a job in the government, by the way. You will become an important figure. Anyone? Okay, who is a Muslim? He have an idea for me to prove to us that Islam is can be considered something important. Anyone? Who is a Muslim? You see, we have one thousand five hundred, uh, more than a thousand five hundred people here. But yet, not even single Muslim is willing to call me. Isn't it that fishy? Where is where is the proud people? Where is the ones who they are very confident about confident about their religion? Not even one. You know, this is remind me when Muhammad, you know, he, supposedly a bunch of Christians from uh, from uh, uh, Najran, they came to debate Muhammad. Do you know what he said to them? You will not believe it. I never heard of a debate like this before. It's a cursing debate. Chapter 3, verse 61. Allah saying to Muhammad then whenever this whenever dispute with you concerning him bracket Isa or Jesus after this knowledge ha that has come to you ie Isa Jesus being a slave of Allah and having no share in divinity this by the way doesn't say that in the translate this is a fake, fake translation all of this is garbage anyway say oh Muhammad come 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 Come, let us call our sons and your sons, our women and your women, your ourself and yourself, and let us pray to invoke sincerely the curse of Allah upon the one who lie. I mean, have you ever heard of a debate like this? So, if 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 those ustad they want to debate with the Christian prince, they, if they do it according to Islamic law, they will say to Christian prince, a Christian prince, I told you to bring your wife and my wife. And your children and my children, and you bring your goat and my goat, and you bring your friend and my friend, and bring your uh, what is that? And who, are we going to have a party of cursing? Yes, it's a party of cursing. Say, and where is the debate? Where is the debate? So now we start saying, Allah, if I am lying, cut my nose, your turn. Allah, if I'm lying, uh, they close the door of the van over my finger. It, 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 what is that? What is that? Because you have no answer. You don't know what to say. So the one who debate you about concerning Jesus, you say to him, bring my wife and you. They are monks. They have no wives. Supposedly the story is saying that those are monks. They are bishops. They have no wife. They have no children. So even here, the story is a stupid. How you ask a monk, Bring your wives and I bring my wives and bring your children and I bring my children and let us invoke God to curse the one is lying. <coughs> what do you say, Muslims? There is somebody saying, Call me. Are you a Muslim, my friend? The one is saying, Call me, Magan, whatever his name. <coughs> If you are a Muslim, give me your ID in Skype. I will call you, my friend. Uh, 
My friend, I do not need to go to Indonesia. I am in the heart of Indonesia. Muslims are talking about me, Christian talking about me, Ustad talking about me, and I am there. Trust me, I am there. And because I am there, they are not here. They will be happy to debate any Christian as long he know nothing. The second you say my name, they go bye bye, Papa. And the proof is in the front of you. My Skype is open. Right now, actually, I called Abbas, and Abbas he said he is sick, and I wish him a good luck. You know, I wish him feel better. This is the only Muslim he is online. Here we go. Let's just show you the message. I called him. All right. He said, I cannot talk today and not well. I have a favor, etc. I told him, wish you to be better. This is the only Muslim he did. You know, I uh, today I got a message from him. Where is the rest? And the guy is sick. He have a throat problem. <coughs> I cannot uh, contact people by phone. Because phone can come with issues, you know, he can say he's harassing me, he can say, you know, a phone is something private. Skype, obviously, you know, here we are live on air, and if somebody want to talk to us in Skype, that's his choice. Anyone? Any Muslim? Where are they, the Muslims? And by the way, here, I don't know if you notice that the one who made this, this verse, he is suffering from a low IQ. Anyone notice why? Who want to help me and tell me why? Proving that this is not be from God is the one saying that. What is the problem here? Additional to bring your wives and my wives. Who noticed something stupid there <coughs> in this verse? Anyone? Who want to tell me what's wrong? You guys don't know? What is the problem there in this verse? There's a big problem. I don't know, maybe there's a delay in the chat. Okay, Megan, he want to call me, but where is his Skype? Give me his Skype, I will call him, no problem. There's a problem here in this verse. Anyone knows? No. My friend, look at this. Here he says, he will invo invoke curse of Allah upon the one is li who lie. Correct? Correct? Okay. How, why the word lie is there? Uh, tell Magan he can post his uh, uh, ID. I will call him. He have no excuse. He can post his ID here and I will call him. You guys, listen, to, listen carefully. Show you how stupid the statement is. If I'm debating someone, he believe in Allah. He's not lying to me unless he's lying. You know what I mean? If he say I believe in Allah, he's not lying. So why you are why you are what 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 the, what the point of this word lie here? This is stupid. If somebody is a Hindu, and he told me his belief, he's not lying, as long he is honest in his belief. Correct. So this statement here is a statement of a, of of a somebody. He is a liar. And because he feel guilty, because he's a liar, he think or try to defend himself saying, let us curse the one who is lying. Are you getting my point? It's like a thief who says, uh, it's not me who took it. Who took what? Well, nobody talk about anything he took. How you know that there's something is taken? Because he is the thief.
if a Muslim he says to me I believe that Muhammad is a prophet he is not lying he believe in a lie there's a huge difference lying is you knowing that this is not true and you say something the opposite but if you believe in a lie that will not make you a liar that make you believe believer in a lie still you are honest and you believe so this phrase proving to us that the one who made the Quran is an idiot so this is can't be from God what the Bible says the father of all the lies is the devil is Satan people are misleaded but that will not make them lie you know they are misleaded deceived they believe in a lie and here because Muhammad he have no answer he come with this excuse saying okay bring your wives I bring my and what the wives and the children have to do with this I mean what this what this is about so imagine if I want to debate Ustad what his name selfie selfie stick oh sorry uh, selfie uh, uh, shake uh, shake hands with Nanhar Muhram Ustad Abu Samud so if I want to debate him I'm going to get Mary first and then I have to wait until I get kids and then we wait until they grow up and then we can set up a debate and then we go in the stage brother and make and then Mustaz Ustaz he says I swear by Allah if I am lying may Allah cut my nose now Christian Prince he take the microphone in his way but I don't believe in Allah anyway <laughs> how I'm going to invoke Allah if I don't believe in Allah I mean, have you ever heard of a, of a comedy like this before? I mean, selfie ustaz, selfie ustaz. He's self ustad. He make himself self ustad. Anyone in this business, he make himself a scholar. He kill himself a scholar, and that's it. He make money. He holds the selfie stick in his hand, take picture of himself, and he says, Ustad, I am Ustad. How he became Ustad, nobody knows. And what Ustad mean? Nobody knows. Okay, Christian Prince is not Ustad. He is not a priest. He is not, not a bishop. He is no one. Still, they cannot debate me. The only certificate I have is a driving license, brother. You cannot debate me. Hmm? <coughs> Anyone is serious to contact me, post your ID, I will call you immediately. Uh, and please, uh, uh, admins, don't post a link for any other pages, including YouTube or even Patreon in the chat. Just leave this uh, this uh, thing here as it is. Any Muslim? You send me invitation. Okay, let me see, my friend. No problem. Um... I got nothing, my friend. Why you don't give me your I mean, I mean what the drama is about, Mr. Mark Morgan? Why you don't give me your ID and I will call you? I don't know. It sounds like uh, you're playing games now. <coughs> I got nothing. I can show the, the I can show my my Skype life. I got nothing from anyone. Post your, your Skype ID and I will call you. Stop playing games. Anyone? You remind me of Allah, my friend. You know, look, look, look. Let me show you what Allah do. <clears throat> they asked Muhammad, how come Allah don't have miracles? Yeah, okay. Hmm, Allah don't have miracles. Hmm. Read with me. Chapter 6. 
Verse number 158. Do they then wait for anything other than that angels should come to them? Or that your Lord should come? Or that some of us signs of your Lord should come? Yes. I mean, come on. All prophets, they have miracles. So this guy, his God never spoke to him. We never saw the angel. It's a guy. His name is Dahil Kalbi. Looked like Jibreel. And he claimed that this is Jibreel. And he had no signs. Yes, they are waiting. So what the problem? Okay. The day that some of the signs of your Lord would do come. So Allah is saying, my son will come in the judgment day. Nice to meet you. This is God. So how come Jesus, he have signs in his day, not in the judgment day? And Allah, he cannot have any. Anyone? <clears throat> By the way, we, why we have only 1,000 likes? There's a woman, she was doing a video about lipstick. She got more likes than this. What's wrong with you? Shall I call Zachar Naik to school you now? Brother, did the person in name of the Christian prince and they give him 1,000 like. In fact, he do not deserve it. And I'm going to prove it. First of all, Christian prince is not an Arab. In fact, he is a Chinese. And I hear him once, he was saying the following. Ching -ho -he -ho. I told you, he is from China and he is not even a Christian. He is a communist. And this is a fact with the proven. Uh, uh, Zachary Naik, I, I was joking. I don't know what I was saying in Chinese. Actually, I even I saw a video of him in China. And he was saying a lot of Chinese in China. Explain that to me. I, I, I was, uh, Zachary, I, I, was, I was joking. I said a lot of a Chinese in China because I saw nothing but the Chinese. Exactly. Because you saw nothing except the Chinese and you are one of them. And you know it. Okay, I am a Chinese, still you can't debate me. We go back. Hmm. Let us see. Who is a Muslim wanna call me? Uh, please don't say Jackie Shan, Shan, Jackie Shan like this, without profit, without peace be upon him. That's it? Is that how you say Jack Sha ja Jackie Shan? Like, come on. I mean, show respect. I mean, I cannot really handle it to see somebody calling Jackie Shan without saying P beast be upon him. Any Muslim? No name calling, please. Admins, please watch the text. Anyone he use bad language or recall. Don't attack the Muslims, please. Be nice. Attack the topic. Stay away from attacking people. And don't call Megan. Megan, don't call him names, please. Don't call him a coward. Maybe he is uh, not uh, able to call me. It's okay. <clears throat> Uh, Keith, please don't use bad language. Nobody, please refrain from using a bad language in the chat, please. Everybody is welcome, Muslims, Christians, Hindu, Jews, whatever you are, no need to use a bad language in the chat. Do we have any Muslim would like to speak to us? Anyone? <laughs> Not a single Muslim he called me until now. Very disappointing. Not even one. They make videos about refuting Christian prince. And you see, if, the, if you see the videos, you die laughing from refuting. I mean, they debate themselves, they win the debate. What about refuting Christian prince life? Call him. Okay, don't call me. I will call you. Don't call me. I will call you. Your majesty is very big. We are small. 
אוקיי. Okay. <coughs> yes, please refrain from insulting Muslims. They are poor people. They need our help. And remember, if you are a Christian, you have a duty, and your duty is to love them and to tell them the truth, not to insult. We do not need, they do not need our anger. They need our mercy and our love. Yes, yes, somebody saying a question. Question, please. Okay, what the question? Question. By the time, you know, you keep saying a question, question, please. By the time you, you okay, pause the question, let us see what is your question. <clears throat> All right. Anyone? Who is a Muslim? He have something to say to us. Anyone? Okay. If we make a simple, a simple question for the Muslims, what is the proof that Islam is from the true God? What is the proof of that? Who want to help us? Somebody asking me a question. Uh, uh, the question sounds uh, kind of uh, uh, strange for me. <clears throat> uh, where where was the question? This uh, chat jump. How come someone like uh, Father Butros no more? Than... Okay, this is the question. How does Father Zakaria Butros know more about Islam than people like David Wood? I mean, I don't know what is the purpose of this question, my friend. Uh, everybody do his part, and who knows better, he can do better, but doesn't mean that uh, David Wood is not doing his best. So for us as a Christians, every one of us, he do his part, depending his ability and how much he knew. First of all, as a, 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 a Butros, he speak Arabic. Actually, I think he have a he have a master degree in Arabic language. So I'm not sure of that part, but I think he he for sure he have degrees and he speak Arabic, and that alone is advantage of knowing about Islam. If David Wood was person born of the Middle East, speak Arabic language, he will be 100 percent more powerful than just someone he read from English. That's uh, that's the whole idea. But doesn't mean that David Wood is not doing good. I mean, he's doing his part. Do you do his part? Why the question is why you cannot do what David would do? <clears throat> Correct, guys. Why some of us only they take care and they do their part and they they they, they study and they learn and they are willing to take a stand, but you are not. So if you're trying to make David Wood like he is not doing good job, the fact he is doing good job, based on his ability, his language skills in Arabic. He is doing good. And you know, in sir when we do serve the Lord, there's nobody better than anyone because at the end of the day, it's about how much you can do and your ability. But to make it simple, there is there is someone, um, an old woman, she go in a, in a church. And she want to make a donation to the church. She have one dollar in her pocket. And she gave uh, 50 cents of the one dollar. And there's a guy in the same church. He have ten dollar in his pocket. He gave one dollar to the church. That woman, she did more way better than the man. Because based on her ability, she did really maximum ability. The other person did not do. So it's not about how much. It's about what you do based in what you have. This is what the Lord said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So if David Wood was a lazy person, he have two children, and they need, they need a special care, he will say to himself, you know what, I have a lot of, uh, 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 I have a busy life, I have a children need my help, I'm not going to give time to anyone. I will focus only in my family. Instead, he focus in his family and he focus in helping you. So David Wood is a is a great person for me. 
I don't have to agree with him and everything he say by the way because this is not the point we're talking about I'm talking about that he do what he can and he do better than those who can do things <clears throat> correct and maybe if I am him I will not be able to do what he's doing actually I mean look at this guy he is married he have a children they, ha they have a special care special needs and yet he do what he do this is a lot there's a lot of stress a lot of work so for him he's taking it as a blessing for somebody else he will take it as uh, in, in different way so do we have any uh, uh, any Muslim please admin watch the text if somebody speak bad language block him with no hesitation anyone use bad language block him so do we have any Muslim want to speak to us uh, somebody here saying let us pray to open the Muslim mind my friend you see prayer is very important in Christianity because always you know we have to get the support of the of, of the Lord and the Holy Spirit but the important is is to do the work so prayer without work is a fake prayer and here we are doing the work and our work is a prayer the second we start asking question we are starting the prayer you see when we question about God and the question will lead us to know the true God that is a prayer to lead there is people they want things to happen with by praying because they are fake as an example imagine you have somebody in your door and he is dying from hunger and you pray to God God give him a sandwich and then the guy die from hunger because you are fake what what do you mean pray to God to give him a sandwich so many Christians they try to focus and saying okay let us pray let us pray let us pray but they will not do the work because this is a fake prayer you see the Lord the Messiah himself he do work he says I do the work of my father so the father and the son they do work why you don't you want the Messiah to do everything for you You know what I mean? You decide to be lazy. The Messiah not only he worked, he did something nobody do. He even washed the feet of his followers. Just for one reason, to teach us how to live better, how to be humble. Do he have to wash the feet? I mean, imagine this is the Lord Himself washing the feet. So True Christians is the one who do the work, not only they pray. Any uh, any uh, a Muslim brother, he would like to call us and tell us something good about Islam, brother. <clears throat> Anyone? Greeting from Jakarta, Indonesia. Thank you, my friend. Welcome from Indonesia. We love you all. Again, I repeat again, all Christians, all Muslims from Indonesia, this is a gift from me to you and to Estaz uh, Abu Samud. My books, my, my books, whatever books I translate, and now I have my book, uh, Deception of Allah, is a translated to the uh, Indonesian language is going to be published soon for you for for free no money whatsoever this is my gift to Indonesian people <clears throat> soon you will have it just give me some time I just arrived today actually I slept only five hours since I came Can we make, can we, can we use your name and make a t-shirt, etc.? No, my friend, don't do that. 
because if, if, if somebody want to make donation, make donation <coughs> without a T-shirt. What the T-shirt for? We don't want to be doing business here, my friend. <coughs> if somebody want to help, okay, help. No need for hat and T-shirt. And I don't want people to glorify me. I am no one. You don't even know who I am. There's nobody. His name is a Christian prince. Who is a Christian prince? I'm no one. I am not Ustad. I am not a priest. I am not a bishop. I am a one who Allah and his apostle and his Jibreel cannot defeat me. As simple as that. <clears throat> and I do not need people to glorify me. The only one you can glorify is the Lord, who is a Christian prince. I'm a sinner. I'm no one. I'm not better than you in anything. Any Muhammadan, I'm you know I'm shouting for the last hour, saying who is a Muslim want to call us? Not even single one. You believe it? Not even a single one. <clears throat> Yahya Waluni, my friend Yahya Waluni, Yahya the Luni, Baluni, the Luni, all of them are the same, they are fake. It's just a pure business, nothing personal. The same as their God, the same as their prophet, it's all about money. Imagine. Muhammad, he made verses in the Quran saying that Allah, he gave him the fifth from every attack. <clears throat> Why Muhammad need the fifth of the booty? Any Muslim can tell us? The humble, the one, the prophet who don't care for money, he serve Allah, he make a chapter about it. Not only the fifth, the best of the booty. And the booty is nothing but a theft. They attack the neighbors. They take their women. They take their 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 goats. They take their animals. They take their gold. They take their silver. And Muhammad, they take the fifth. <clears throat> Yet Muhammad was poor, poor. Look, and know whatever of your booty that you may gain. Verily, one fifth is assigned to Allah and to the Messenger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good one. <clears throat> that's a good one. Somebody asking question, why? <clears throat> okay, this is a good question, actually. <clears throat> why do Arabic people still believe Quran? The answer is easy, money. Let us make it simple. You see, before the oil revolution, Islam was dying in the Middle East, literally. And then the oil come, and money start coming like rivers, literally. It's some money coming from the ground, and a lot of money. And then suddenly, the Saudi who don't care for religion, suddenly they start spreading because the royal family in Saudi Arabia, they understand very well that they have no right to be royal and they have no right to rule. The only way they can make it legitimate for them to be ruling the country is to get support from those who call themselves the follower of the Prophet. Today they call them Wahhabi. So they make a big budget from the money of the oil to silence them so they would not say, oh, you are stealing everything. And that oil was directed to string, like let's say, to add a strength into Islam. And then the propaganda started, TV stations, satellite, building mosques, missionaries everywhere, giving Quran for free, uh, scholarship, even in Europe. Even in Europe, they give a scholarship for free. Even in university like Stanford, the biggest donate donators 
to big university in the world are Islamic organization and the purpose is very simple the Saudi they stay kings in the same time they keep the world busy with Islam somebody send me the ID of mr. Morgan let us see if we can find him <clears throat> all right look like we found somebody okay mr. Morgan I just texted you please call me back <coughs> all right call me my friend we have a Muslim from Indonesia I, 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 I think he is and he was uh, trying supposedly to find my name he could not and now he can contact me let us call him I'm not going to waste time because this guy he was desperately trying to call me. Oh, hello? hello hello can you speak louder please hello yes my friend go ahead you are live on air and this is a Christian Prince with you I'm speaking to who Muhammad stand from Indonesia I... hello yes I hear you do you hear me okay yes sir. okay what do you what do you like to say to us mr. Muhammad first of all you are from Indonesia right yes I'm from Indonesia wonderful my friend what do you like to say to us go ahead first of all I would like to say to those Indonesian Christian, please don't mock us. Please, if you want to speak the truth, don't mock us. I'm trying to be nice here. Yeah, no, no, nobody is mocking you, my friend. We are here talking about religion, not about you. I do not know you. Do I know you? Do you know me? No. The topic is yeah, not okay. you. The topic, my friend, is not you, not me. It's about God. It's about religion. So what do you like to say to us, Mr. Muhammad, about your religion, your Islam? Okay. Can you show me the proof that Islam is false? The Quran, all of it. Yeah, give me, give me the proof. Which one you want? What kind of proof you like? You are looking for? Everything, everything. I just hear everything is about. Okay, let us do this. That speech. Let us do this to make it to make it really, really uh, uh, super powerful proof. Give me a proof that Islam is from God, and I will use the same proof to prove to you that Islam is false. What do you say? No, you give me the proof first. Just you prove that Islam. No, no, is just false. just to show you how sure I am. I just say to say to you, give me something to prove to you that Islam is from God. I will use whatever you choose to prove to you Islam is false. You see how easy it is? I mean, you choose anything you want. Choose anything will prove to me Islam from God. I will use what you give me, you, you. What you give me, I will use it to prove to you Islam is false. What do you say? I am not a hypocrite. If, if there is okay, something okay. wrong Okay, then let us go to the word hypocrite, my, guys. My religion, okay, my friend. I will, I will accept it. Okay, no, my friend. So you are saying you are not hypocrite. What hypocrite mean? Uh, how to say it in English? I don't know. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know in, uh, in English, I know, but I know it. Okay, hypocrite is somebody he says something, but he don't mean it. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So you, you, you just gave me a proof Islam to be false because you said you are not hypocrite. That means you are not a Muslim, because the Quran says every Muslim should be hypocrite. Let us go. Allah, He do not what? take you accountable for what you say, but Allah, He take you accountable for what do you mean? Is that correct? Yes. Okay, you just said that you are a hypocrite now. Because if you, Allah, no. Allah don't care for what you say, Allah care for what you mean. So you can say to me, I love you, but in your heart you hate me. You can take an oath and you say this is not intentional oath. I swear by Allah, I am telling the truth. Allah don't care for that. Because all what Allah care, what you mean in your heart. In your heart, you want to lie to me. But in your tongue, you don't mean it. So Allah, He encouraged you to be hypocrite, and you just say to me, "Prove to me it's time to be false." And you are the you, the one who gave me the reasoning, or let us say, you are the one who says to me, "I am not a hypocrite." But is uh, as, as if you are a Muslim, you have to be hypocrite. In chapter three, verse number twenty-eight, have you ever heard of this verse before? I don't see it in the screen. I will put it for you on the screen in a second. Give me a second, please. In 
In chapter 3, <coughs> I hope the Muslim website is working. It looks like it's not working. Let us see again. Okay, that's she was different. Can you can can you can you show me the, the first about the black dog? About what? The black dog. The black dog? Well, why you want to change the topic? Don't you want to see the God who teaches you to be a hypocrite? To, to be a liar? No, no. Uh, I, I, I pet the dog. I don't no know problem. I will I go there. The okay, dog, no, but... I will go to the black dog. But listen, in chapter 3, verse number 28, it says that you can speak to me friendly, but in your heart is this like that. That is the devil. Don't you agree? If somebody says to you, okay, you can go to him and say, I love you, but as long in your heart you hate him, it's you are good. Don't you agree that this is from the devil? Where it says that word? Chapter 3, verse number 28. Wait. Do you have a website you you like me to open for you? To show you? No, I will it on Indonesian Quran. Hmm. Okay, let us use Ibn Kathir. I'm trying to open the other website actually, but it's not working. This is the, the government of Jordan. Uh, here we go, it's working finally. All right. <coughs> I will put the screen in a second. Just give me a second. Here we go. All right. This is your Quran, chapter 3, verse number 28. And this is your Islamic interpretation, and this is the cousin of your prophet Ibn Abbas. Look what it says. Let not the believers. Hmm? I don't see anything on the screen. Uh, refresh your page. You will hear. You will see it. Uh, but just be sure you mute YouTube, please, so you don't hear. You don't hear me twice. So let not I, the believers. I have. I have, I have refreshed it, but uh, okay. Come on. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I will give you the link too. You can open the link. Here we go. Let, let me post it for you in Skype, so you can see it. No problem. All right, here we go. This is the link I will post it to you. <clears throat> so the verse here saying that you, you know, don't take the hypocrite as a friends. And who is the hypocrite? The disbelievers. But look what the Quran saying. The one who take them as a friend, he have, and he is sincere. If you are sincere, you have no protection from Allah. You have no honor. Which means Muslim, they can kill you, the Muslim can torture you, they can rape your wife, they can do whatever they want. If you are sincere. So Islam teaching that if you are sincere, you will be punished. If you are sincere with the hypocrite, if you are sincere with the Christians, if you are sincere with the Jews, you will be killed. But if you are not sincere, unless it be that you guard yourself against them, Save yourself from them, taking it as it were security. Saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this. So you are the one, Mr. Muhammad, who said to me that you are not hypocrite. That's me, you are the Muslim. Because the Muslim is the one who speaks to me in a friendly way, but in his heart, he is just like this. And if you are sincere now talking to me, that's me, you are the Muslim. Let me ask you, Mr. Muhammad, do you consider me? Are you willing to take me as a friend? Of course, why not? Okay, thank you. Mr. Muhammad is a very nice gentleman and he is a good guy. But look, the Quran says you cannot do that. The Quran right. says the only way to, to take me as a friend, if you are lying to me, as long as you don't mean it, it's fine. But if you mean it, you are not a Muslim no more. Look what it says. And the one who is sincere, death that... Uh, uh, seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrites and disbelievers as a friend he has no connection with Allah he has no connection with Allah guys do you see it Mr. Muhammad I'm not the one saying that Mr. Muhammad it is your Quran saying that because you want to take me as a friend you have no connection with Allah what do you say it is Sahih this is Quran what's Sahih this is Quran chapter 5 verse 51 it says the same exactly too Chapter 5, verse number 51. This is nobody can say this is Sahih and this is, this is Quran. This is not a, not a joke. It says, Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. And you said to me, and everybody heard you, and I respect that from you. You are being decent, you are a good person, and I will I be happy to that. be your friend. So, chapter 5, verse 51 says, 
Oh, who you believe take not the Jews and the Christians as a friend. Do you see it? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Maybe it's, it's about war time. No, no, Not this today. Quran for all time, the Muslim, they say Quran for all time, and it doesn't say for the bad Christian, good Christian, it says all you believe, take not the Jews and the Christians, all the Jews, all the Christians. Yeah, I see it, yes. Okay, isn't okay. it, this is a proof that Islam is not from God, because what kind of God, he don't want us to be friends. God, he sent messengers to spread peace and love, correct? Uh, if, 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 if to, yes, it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I, I can't say anything. So, but didn't I prove to you, you know, Jesus says, love your enemy. Muhammad saying, okay, don't take them as a friend. So while Jesus saying, pray to anyone, even the one who want to kill you. So even you, Muhammad, if you want to kill me, Jesus ordered me to love you and to pray for you and to pray to your family and to pray to your country and to pray for your health. You can go to any church and you will see they pray to all the Muslims in the world. They pray to the Hindus, they pray to the atheists, they pray to everybody for peace and mercy and love for all. That is God, my friend. For God is love. In chapter 5, what do you think about hate, Muhammad? Who, who spread hate between, between mankind? Is that Shaitan or God? Shaitan, of course. Shaitan. See, guys, Muhammad is a good guy. Shaitan is the one who spread hate between us, and I agree. I have to agree with Mr. Muhammad, but look, chapter 5, verse number 14 says that Allah, he spread hate between the Christians. Do you see it in the screen, Muhammad? No, no, I don't see it. Anything. Okay, it's going to show now. Just give it a little bit of time. You see it now? Yeah, yeah. What kind of God he says that he want to spread hate between the Christians? Do you like do, do you do you like to have somebody from your family spreading hate, Muhammad? Are you going to be proud about your son if he spread hate between people? No. Am I going to be proud about myself spreading hate? No. So what kind of God this God is? And honestly, I I never read Quran uh, every day. It's like uh, I was born from. Uh, Islam and I just follow it because it's my family religion. Okay, but I never, but I don't never know about the, this verse. Well, you do not know, and this is why I'm here, Muhammad. I'm here to help you and to help the rest of the Muslims so they can see but, that but, this is false religion. But but I never had uh, my Christian friends, my uh, yes. Buddhist see, friends. Muhammad, friends. Not, I, I, I respect them, Muhammad. I know that you are. A, I, I can tell you. I can tell you are a good person. I can tell even your parents are good people because. You know, children are the fruits of their parents, mostly. So, uh, you are coming from a good family, you have a good mother, you have a good parents, and here we go. We have a good gentleman, and look how nice he is. He don't like hate, he don't hurt people, he don't. Uh, uh, he never hurt a Christian. He wouldn't, and why would not hurt each other? What for? I mean, we should be, you know, we have enough problem in this earth. People, they cannot even afford to pay their bills, you know, uh, take care of your family, take care of your society, be good to everybody. But here we see an evil situation. You 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 agreed with me that the one who yeah. spread hate is Satan, correct? Yeah. But, yeah, but, okay. but Allah is doing the job of Satan here. If okay, if the one who spread hate between the Christian is Allah, so what Satan do for living? What do you think? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Hmm. So what what do you think, Muhammad? Did I prove to you Islam is false? Uh, I can't say anything. You, you know, I I I, I live uh, with my Christian friends. I always listening to the, uh, their church music. I I never never agree at them. I just respect them. But uh, I don't know. Uh, recently, I feel like uh, why 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 my people, my 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 fellow Muslim friends, brother, sister, are uh, mock other religion in Indonesia. I don't know. I don't know why. That's why, why I feel why, like. Why they are I what? Like, Sorry, I did not understand you, Muhammad. They, why they are what? Why does uh, all of my, all of my, uh, Muslim brother and sister, why? Uh, I don't know. Recently, they are very, very, very hate 
toward uh, non-Muslim. Mm. But but this is this is no. I, I can't tell you why. The more they uh, uh, believe in Islam, the more they will practice that. Because as you see, this is Allah teaching. Not only that, you see. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, the, uh, what what do you know that Allah? Allah don't consider those who they are friends. Uh, I don't know your microphone is moving. Uh, are you there, Muhammad? Muhammad? Um, I think you need to fix your microphone, Muhammad. Are you there? Okay, I, I will hang up on you. Fix your mic. You have a problem with the mic. Too bad. I will call him back. Why? Why? The answer is very simple. Because Islam teach them to follow this uh, uh, route. If your ma master teach it, so what you will do? Yes, Muhammad, are you there? Hello? Hello? Um, we have a problem, my friend. Yeah, we, we have a problem. I can't hear you. Guys, is my voice coming fine? Is my voice coming fine? Just to be sure, not my microphone. Is it? Is my voice coming to, uh, good to you? All right. Yeah, he have a problem with his. Uh, uh, no problem. The devil, he felt that this guy, he might accept Jesus right now. The devil felt that this guy, he might accept Jesus right now. Hello? Hello. Yes, Hello. Muhammad, we hear you now. Good. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So, my friend, do you know even that you cannot take your family as a friend in Islam? Do you know that? Yeah, yeah I know that. Man. Okay. So, what kind of religion this religion is? Yeah, why why know, I cannot I, take my my brother and my father as a friend? What the problem? Uh, Just because uh, they are not Muslims? So I, how, mean, I mean, I mean, I I I I live with. Family, but uh, I don't know. It's it's very difficult. Problem. Okay, but, difficult but but Muhammad, you are a smart person, and I can tell you have a good heart. What will make someone like you stay as a Muslim? What about now? You ask yourself, which one is the one to follow? Look, the Muslim they say to you, your family, you, they are Muslim, and you are a Muslim. They say to you that Isa is alive, Muhammad is dead. Which one we should follow, Muhammad? You are, you tell me. What do you think? Let us say me and you, we are driving together, going, you know, just for maybe to the beach to do some fishing. And you say yes. to me, hey, Christian Prince, uh, this road says go to Muhammad and this road goes, says go to Isa. And then Christian Prince says to you, is Muhammad is alive now? You say, no, he's dead. Okay, so yes. if we go there, we will find him in the grave. You say, yes. And then I say, okay, is Isa is alive now? You say, yes. So which one we should go and follow? Isa or Muhammad, the dead man or the living Messiah? Uh, logically, uh, we should follow Isa, but uh, I think uh, Isa was given the power by Allah to hmm. help people. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think, I think. Yeah, but hold on, you see. The, I can claim now that I am the one who the one who gave Isa the power too. I can say, hey, do you know that I am the one who made Isa raise people from death? I can say, oh, I am the one who gave power to Isa to make to make him make the blind see. I mean, this is a claim. The Muslim claim things. There's no proof of it if, because if Allah can do what they claim, He should do the same to Muhammad. How come Muhammad could not make the blind see? How come Muhammad did not make the one who is dead alive? How come Muhammad did nothing? So 
it's a claim that Allah gave him the power and then you need to ask yourself okay why Allah gave the power to Isa he don't want to give the power to Jesus okay let us see this we have a president or a king and then he have two employees one his name is Isa and the other one his name is Muhammad the one whose name is Isa he gave him the power of the following he can resurrect people from death he can create from the mother bird he can heal the leper he can make the blind see he can walk in water he can feed thousands he can tell you what you had in your home and right now is alive and the other guy he got nothing I mean isn't it obvious Muhammad that we should follow Jesus logically yeah logically all right so what are you waiting for logically and by the way Islam don't believe in logic I mean what kind of religion believe that if I pray to a God five times he will give me a lot of women inside the box for sex how about our my dear 51 what about what our my dear 51 what about it it says take not Christian and Jews as a friends right yeah okay it's, I think I think I think there is a there is a, a fabrication I don't know I don't know I, I, what do you mean I, what do you I, mean I there's know. a fabrication no, I can mean? I can trust anyone no don't trust me my friend I'm not asking you to trust me I'm asking you here we go this is the verse in front of you what fabrication here we go this is your Muslim translation this is your Muslim translation you know what let me search for the Indonesian translation even though I don't speak Indonesian hold on Indonesian translation let us see uh, as you know I don't speak Indonesian but maybe we can find it here Indonesian what the language for Indonesia what is the what which one I should choose uh, is it Malay is it uh, here it says no, no, it's okay. it's okay. I can I can read it I Milian? can read it. is it million is it million I don't know which one ba, ba, Basmia is that this one Malay uh, you can do Malay okay here we go okay this is, a, is I don't know what the nation I don't I have no idea why it says there in in the language you tell me you choose any translation you want <laughs> Indonesian chorus. Hmm. So what we want to know? It says they can take yeah. take them not as a friends. Uh, Indonesian chorus he had. Okay. I don't know. Like I, I am here. I'm using this website. Whatever it is there, you know. I don't know what is there. This is Malai. Malai. Um, but anyway, any language, all of them. It's going to be at the end of the day. Miliam. Miliam. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what we will do now? This is what Islam teach. And you said to me, you have no problem to have me as a friend, and I will be honored to have you as a friend, actually. And maybe we can go and drink some coffee together. And I'm sure you will be a good person to me. Why not? But Islam forbidding but you from being my friend. Then, if if Islam is false, what is truth? The truth is the Messiah the Messiah my friend even even the liar himself could not deny Jesus even the liar who his name is Allah he could not deny that Jesus is alive and Muhammad is dead even the book of hate as you see could not deny that Jesus never commits sin in chapter 19 verse number 19 it says the Holy Son Jesus is the Holy Son he is the son of who who is the father of Jesus? How he can be a son, but he have no father? Islam cannot explain that because this is a belief is stolen from a Christianity. And Muhammad, for he is a thief, he could not explain to the Muslim what the point. What for? Yeah. There's no point unless there is a purpose, unless there is something big behind this. All mankind, they are born of a woman. But they have father except one person. Uh, I I don't know what Bible because I never read Bible and I I never mock mock my Christian friends. I never uh, uh, talk about my, my, my uh, friend, other friends religion. My, my friend Muhammad. Talk. My friend Muhammad. It's not about you. About me. This is bigger. You are a good person. You are from a good family. I will be happy to meet your family. This is not about me and you, my friend. This is about what is right and what's wrong. And you are you agreed with me that spreading hate is wrong and you agreed with me 
that the one who's like to spread hate is Satan and you agreed with me that you have no problem to take me as a friend but all those things you agreed with me with it's against Islam so you should know by now that Islam is bad why because, why 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 this this is uh, why it, it, it's a business don't you see this guy is making six thousand dollars from every speech in a country like Indonesia most of people are poor isn't it a shame I mean, if this guy is a good person, uh, he do not need six thousand dollars in, in a speech. You know, give them to the poor. Say, hey, guys, I'm going to make my. It, it's what it, it's costing him. What it's costing him a speech. I mean, he is not even doing anything. It's just a speech. Imagine now, I have two thousand people listening to me. I say, hey, guys, I'm not going to talk to you unless you pay me. Did you pay me anything, Muhammad, to speak to me? Are you sure about that? I'm not yes people they're here for free are you paying me anything to speak to me uh, I, I I have I have I have uh, a trust trust problem today hmm. well this is here a newspaper I think this is an Indonesian newspaper it says uh, that mr. Abdul Samad he charged six thousand per sermon I, I never I never I never respect Abdul Samad. I never forget about never what I mean, are the same uh, which one uh, what about Muhammad Muhammad himself okay what do you think about him? so do you agree that a man who charged people to speak to them he is doing a business not serving God do you agree with me uh, do what? you agree if somebody he charged you to talk to you that's mean he is doing business he's not serving God do you agree uh, yes, it's, it's like a consultation business. Okay, here we go. Muhammad, you did the same. Before yeah, you speak, that. before you speak, or a Quran, chapter 558, verse number 12. If you want to speak to Muhammad, here we go. I don't know. You can read it. Tell me what it says in your language. Before you speak to the Prophet, you have to give him money. Why? Why you have to spend some money to give the Prophet? Why the Prophet cannot talk to me? Without spending money, Muhammad he promised ten people to go to heaven. Number one was Uthman ibn Affan, who was a very bad person. He promised him heaven because he gave him a lot of money. I don't know. It says. It says. It's. Uh, <laughs> it's charity. Uh, it's, uh, what charity? It's charity. It's, uh, okay, well, charity. Charity. You give it to the people, not to the prophet. Yeah. I, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And did Muhammad ask for the fifth of every attack to to his to himself? Did Muhammad, he asked for the best of the booty for himself, which means if we go to attack a house and we steal the furniture, Muhammad will get the biggest TV. What kind of a prophet this prophet is? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right, yes. Okay. So what we will do now? Why do you want to stay as a Muslim? I don't know. And my friend, well, it's not, I know, it's, you know, you are a smart person, you are educated. And you know you 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 shared with me already information enough to make me believe that you are against Islam because you believe that you can take a Christians as a friend and you said you have a friends who they are Christian correct? It's it's not easy, CP. You know why not? My, my why, world, why, my not? Body is why not? Out. No, it's easy. Uh, no, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Which one is easy to go to hell or to go to heaven? Of course, to go to hell, it's easy. Okay, so what about we go to heaven? It's it's not easy. Okay, so here we go. You want to stay with the? Uh, here we go. I mean, if I want to stay as a Muslim, obviously this this God is not uh, teaching me to be a better person. Is teaching me to hate the Jews, to hate the Hindus, to hate the Christians, to hate the atheists, to hate everybody, even my parents. So what? Why I want to stay there? And this is not in the metaphorical way. This is literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why I want to stay okay. there? I don't know. Uh, I'm shaking now. Well, my friend, I'm inviting you in the front of all those people listening. 
more than 2,000. And I pray, yeah. and they will pray with me, that the Lord can will you, open can, your heart. Can you show me about the, the, the black dog? The black dog first. I mean, uh, I, I pet a dog. Do you love dogs? And you love dogs? Yes, I have a dog. Yes, I have a dog. This, this is why you're asking me about the dog, huh? Yes, for me, uh, if if dog is if Allah was created the dog, why why we should kill kill dogs? Uh, I don't know. I, I understand. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I will tell you why. First of all, Muhammad he claimed. I don't know if you can see with me in the screen. The message of Allah said, "Angels do not enter a house in which there is a dog or a picture." Do you really believe in such a thing, Muhammad? That angels will not enter a house because there is a dog in there. Dog, dog is one of of human best friend. Uh, I, I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe if dog is. Okay, why, why angel is so weak to the point he is scared to enter a house have a dog? Let us say the most time they say that dog is dirty. Okay, he's dirty. So we have a lot of dirt in house. We have a bathroom. We have a toilet seat. We have garbage. Okay. <laughs> so what? I mean, the dog, the dog is just another animal. And all of us, we, we are, a human being inside him is full of dirt. Even if we take a shower, you cannot take a shower inside, right? So you yeah. sweat, you have a dirt, your mouth is smelled, bacteria. There's millions of bacteria in your mouth. So what does that mean? Angels will not enter a house because there is a dog or a picture. Okay, why? Muhammad obviously have a phobia. The phobia of the cross, the phobia of dogs, the phobia. They have a phobia. This is a phobia. And then he make it even worse. He says that angels do not accompany a traveler who have with them a dog or a bell. <laughs> Even the bell is a problem to the angel. Why? Because this is the bell of the Christians. The Christians have a bell. <laughs> Why <laughs> angels will not accompany me if I have a dog? What's the problem? And what is the problem if they have a bell? You know, those people in that time, they put the bell in the head of the animal. So if he lost, it's easy to find him. He ran away. I, I, I... I, I I don't understand why why my religion uh, uh, my religion do haram haram about everything I don't know hmm. uh, and then he says kill the dogs why and not only that he claimed look at this D your parents have a dog in their home yes okay let I me let me let me give you the give you the bad news my friend the prophet said he who kept a dog other than the one meant for watching hard or hunting would lose every day two kirat of his good deed kirat i mean muhammad he is measuring our deed by kirat it's a weight kirat it's i mean this is stupid i mean how my my deeds is measured by imagine i say to you i will use every i will lose every day 200 grams of deeds this is this is crazy and why because i have a dog so having a dog is a sin for Allah will make Allah angry from you. Why? This is this is madness. And this is stupid. That's, that, that's what I was asked to my ustas and no answer about that. Hmm. Okay, what about what about the black dog is the devil? No, I don't believe I don't believe animals like dog and cats is are devil. No, no. I don't believe that. No, no. But he said, yeah. but Muhammad, he said the black dog is the devil. He is the devil. That's that's why I feel I'm shaking right now. I, I don't know. I don't know how to say anything. They asked Muhammad, what is the difference between a black dog and a yellow dog or a white dog? He said the black dog, the guy he asked, he said, oh, Abu Dhar, what feature is there in the black dog which distinguishes it from the red dog and yellow dog? He said, O oh son of my brother, I ask the messenger of Allah, as you ask me, which means the same question, what feature between them, what difference between them? He said, the black dog is the devil. Uh, uh, okay. <coughs> How that can be? How this is, can be from God? The black dog is the devil. The dog is the best friend for mankind. Yeah. If you go right now and you you know you are in by yourself, and don't you wish to have a dog if you are going to sleep under a tree to protect you, to 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 alarm you? 
Why why I will not have a dog? What the problem with what the problem between this God and this dog? Uh, this this sentence itself already already made me confused because no matter what the color is, they are not people. No no no, I don't believe in that. Uh, And what is the different is the color. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, I can't say anything. I can't say anything. Uh, hmm. So you want to stay as a Muslim? No. No. Yeah. You don't want to stay as a but, Muslim. But, but, but if if Islam is false. What is the truth? No, no, what hold on, hold truth? on, hold on, hold on. I heard you saying no. Did you decide to leave Islam? Uh, yeah. yeah, you can say that. Yeah. We can say that. So, Muhammad, you are leaving Islam. Is that correct? Yes. I mean, to that, guys, our friend Muhammad, he just denied. Muhammad to be a prophet and Allah to be God. That's wonderful. And now he's asking. But so what is, is next? Is, what is the truth? What is the truth? The truth is the one who teach you love. The one who walk with you with love. He changed you from inside to be a better person. Not a person who full of hate. A person who make you go and hate others. He cannot be serving God even if he call himself a Christian. Anyone he teach you to hate others, he is not from God. So God for me is love. This is number one. Love is God and God is love. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. So what the reason? He loved the world. He don't hate us. He don't hate you because you are a Muslim and he hate the other guy because he's a Hindu and the other guy because he's an atheist and he hate the other guy because he don't hate us. This is why we Christians, we call him our father, the father who love his children. While in Islam, you are a slave of God. In Christianity, you are a child of God. And there's a huge difference in the understanding and in the position. So, so for us, so, we are children of God. Why? Because he loves us. But, but, but uh, my Ustaz said, uh, Christian books is fabricated. That's a good thing to say, actually, because he just confirmed to us that Islam is false. Why? Because isn't it Allah in the Quran says he is the one who sent the Injil? Yes, he did. Uh, okay. Yeah, he so did. if the Injil can be fabricated, that means we do not need to prove that Allah books can be fabricated, correct? Yeah. So the Muslims, the your stud, he proved to you that we cannot trust the words of Allah because it can be fabricated. <sighs> Do you understand what I'm saying, uh, uh, Muhammad? Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. When a Muslim scholar or sheikh, he says to you that the Injil is fabricated, he is just confirming to you that the word of Allah, it is possible to fabricate and that is extremely proven to us that Islam is false because you just said to me the word of Allah cannot be trusted anyone can change it while Jesus said the earth and the heaven they go they will perish but my words will not my words will never perish the same time, Muslims are proud to say that the word of Allah, they perish. And they speak about it loud and clear. And they say that the, the injil of Allah is corrupted. Will you just approve to me that we cannot trust anything have to do with Islam? Because you just told me you belong to a God who his religion perished. Is it that Isa is a messenger of Allah? They say yes. Okay, where is the religion of Isa? Perished. Where is the religion of Musa? Perished. Allah actually, according to Muslim, He sent 124,000 prophets with their message. Where are they? Perished.
It's gone. So how we can trust this God? Uh, I, I see the first. Yes, I see. The you know what I mean? Yeah. So obviously, this is cannot be from God. The accusation itself is, you remember when I said to you, give me the proof that Islam is true. This, I will use the same proof to prove to you that Allah is false. <laughs> this is exactly what happened. You just gave me a verse. But, but, you just gave but, me a reason now to prove to you that Islam is false. But, uh, yeah, yeah I, 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 I see everything you, uh, you, 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 you show to me. And yes, yeah, okay, it's false. But on this first, uh, if this if Islam is false, then I think this first is also false. This what? Okay, exactly. This, this, this verse, first. obviously, this verse is Islam is false too. Thank you very much. That's mean everything the Quran says about Jesus is false. That's wonderful. So now, how we will know the truth? It's very simple. <sighs> It's very, you know, the truth is very simple, my friend. Let me tell you. Let me tell you how to find out the truth. God and evil they don't work together. Do you agree? Yeah. Do you believe God is good or God is evil? Yeah, yeah. Okay, go and show me what Jesus, what evil Jesus did. In Quran. No. From wherever you want. I mean, where Jesus said, "Go, go and do evil to others." Uh, I, 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 nev I never, I never, read Bible. So, do you I, think I it is evil? About, when, uh, okay, when, Jesus when, in Bible. All right. When Jesus says, "Love your enemy," is that is that something to be considered to be truth, to be amazing, to be beautiful? Love your enemy. I mean, nobody, nobody ever said that. Right now, in the year 2019, human rights, United Nations, all this madness, nobody dare to say love your enemy. They kill each other until now. 2,000 years ago, when people, they slaughter each other, he said love your enemy. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, How we can explain that? that? That makes sense. How we can explain someone 2,000 years ago saying to us, pray for those who curse you. You curse me, I pray for you. You heard me? Yeah. I pray for God to do good to you. It's difficult. Yeah, but this is this is uh, you know this is telling me who is the Messiah. The Messiah in the cross, he says, "Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing." Imagine they just killed him. They are just torturing him. They just hanged him on the cross, and he is saying, "Forgive them. They don't know what they are doing." Uh, uh. Which one, if we follow, will make our life better? All mankind. Imagine, Muhammad, if a human being, doesn't matter what religion he has, he practice only one sentence, Christ, he said, love your enemy. Can you imagine what will happen to this earth? Yeah, I can imagine that. The whole earth will change. The he this earth will become a heaven. We spend the trillions of dollars every year for defense. Why? Because nobody loved the enemy. We spend a lot of money for security, weapon, instead of spending it to feed the poor, building schools, growing children, teach them how to be good. No, we teach them how to hate each other, how to kill each other, even our movies about killing. Because all what those movies promote, don't love your enemy, kill them. Just kill them. This is Islam. That's not Jesus. This is why in those movies they keep cursing Jesus because he is their enemy, the enemy of Hollywood. While Jesus teaching love, they are teaching violence. This is why they always insult him in their movies. It's difficult. My friend, nothing, nothing in this life. The, the difficulty. You know, I, 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 I mean, I mean, after, after, I, after, I, I, I see Islam is, is was like that. I, I don't trust any religion, any religion now. I don't want other one. I don't believe in religion. Too. Jesus is not a religion for me. Jesus is not a religion. Who said that Jesus is a religion? He never came with any religion. 
Jesus my friend is a person I believe in not a religion religion always is a man-made this is why Jesus was teaching the Jews that they are fabricating things he said to them you know Sabbath was made for the man not the man was made for Sabbath but the Jews they live their life practicing practicing the Sabbath and the Sabbath became more important <coughs> than the man so Jesus he is always against religion because religion is a business religion is a priest religion is a is a is a uh, 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 like is a is a group uh, uh, lobby uh, is politics this is what religion is Jesus never yeah. came for this he is not about kings he don't favor kings over poor he don't favor poor over kings he favor good over bad you shall know them from their fruits from their fruits you shall know them so you are king you are poor you are rich you are black you are white you are asian who care who you are what god will know you from is your fruit and the fruit of jesus is amazing so jesus said if you want to follow me walk my step carry your cross what does that mean does that mean we carry cross a piece of wood in the world no the cross is now you will have a pain you will okay I'm going to leave Islam I left Islam and now I became a Christian people will hate me people will reject me people will refuse me but my friend that will be blessing and peace for you and heaven tomorrow so I invite you Muhammad right now to accept the Messiah as your Savior it's not easy Accepting the Messiah you know, I, is not easy. I, I, I mean, I mean, I, I, I need to, I need to understand uh, the, the the Christianity first. No I need to, Do you have a question for I me about to, Christianity? I will be happy to help. I need to know everything about Christian. I need to know everything from 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 roots, from the roots, because I don't, I don't want to, uh, uh, like like I was in Islam. No, I don't want you to be like that. You see, that's why Jesus says, read the books. Search the truth, and the truth will set you free. See, in yes. Islam, in chapter 5, verse 101, it says, ask no questions. Why Muhammad is ask, saying, ask no questions? Because he knew he cannot answer the questions. In Christianity, Jesus, my friend, he will answer your questions. All what you need to do is open your heart to the Lord. He is a personal, he have a personal relationship with us. He is not a slave owner. He is not a god on a chair. He's acting like a king and nobody dare to speak to him. He have a personal relationship with you if you choose to. Because he said, knock at my door, I will open for you. So all what you need to do, Muhammad, is to knock at the door of the Messiah. And he will be just right there. And he will say to you, Muhammad, what do you want? How I can help you? I need I need to read read the uh, the book the book first before I, I absolutely I want you to read the books. I'm not asking you to be Christian. I'm asking you to accept the Messiah. To accept the Messiah, like let's say, let us me and you come to an agreement. Do you accept that the Messiah is the best ever, wise, loving you person know, you I, heard of? My knowledge, my knowledge about Messiah uh, is limited. Then. I don't know where where to search the truth uh, from now. Uh, that's why I need to learn everything about religion. Oh, uh, isn't that another Hindu, oh, Buddha, right. Christian, Catholic? I will, I will try First of to all, I want to uh, advise you. There's nothing called a Christian and something called Catholic. There's Jesus, my friend. Don't don't do what many people do. Catholic, yes, Christian. I, I mean, I mean, see, I mean. I mean, uh, if someone, if you want, if you want some, if if I want to, if I want to learn about uh, Messiah or Jesus, I should read the Bible, right? Right. The only way to know about the Messiah is not only to read the Bible, is to ask the Lord Himself to speak to you, to talk to you, to be with you, open your heart for you. You know open your heart for him and you know let him come to your life because reading a plain text is just a text it's depends what i want from this text do, do, I, do I want this text to be in my life or just i want to read <laughs> so if you are a person 
looking I, for I, I, a relationship I with my if I, if I if I looking for the truth like I'm praying uh, I don't know I'm praying uh, 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 what if I pray like I was doing Muslim like uh, uh, Salat uh, you mean this uh, that uh, the real God or Jesus or Messiah will come to me my friend the Muslims when they pray they are not even praying they are repeating something say it to somebody his name is Muhammad supposedly 1400 years ago where's your prayer you don't pray Bismillah Alhamdulillah and not only that you speak in a language which is not even your language I mean this is the most funny prayer ever prayer is you make a relationship contact with someone prayer in language not necessarily with God like in in in, in the Bible you will see that the word of prayer come in some places as uh, like I pray that they will understand I pray that they will know I pray they will be there but prayer prayer when you speak to God in Christianity is you and God connected it is you not somebody else words like when they ask the Messiah how to pray he says pray like this just to give them an idea our father out of heaven so but you don't have to pray like that you pray in any way you want however you wish speak to the Lord and he will answer you and this is what is making it more beautiful in Christianity it's not a ritual where we repeat the same words la 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 la, la every day no it is something we live speaking to our creator but yet he speak to us as our his children so when you speak to the Lord you open your heart you don't repeat words say whatever you want show yourself for me prove yourself to me help me I want to understand you I want to believe in you so if you want to read the Bible read it but read it in the purpose of getting closer to the one you are trying to understand not in the purpose to read only there's a huge difference between reading to read and reading to understand and to get closer to someone. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like you know, like right. like if somebody, let us say, you have a child, uh, uh, I don't know how old are you, and he send you a letter, and he say that I am going to throw some difficulty, uh, etc., and he is explaining. But this is not just a letter. The letter have a life. There's a life of a person involved there. So either you read it as a plain text without feeling or those letters can make you even cry for your child. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if we read but, it just as a letter and we don't care really what this person is saying, then this is no point of this. But if you read it and we try to be living those words in depth, not like the Quran written in a language you don't understand and now we try to understand it and after all the interpretation the interpretation itself it says Allah knows best what he meant which means nobody knows what he meant so what the point so read the yeah. Bible yes I encourage you but try to open your heart and try to live the story as an example when Jesus speak about parables he always try to reach inside your heart teaching you wisdom in the same time making you live the time and the moment and to make it simple for you all the teaching of Jesus is something happened through the 2,000 years ago but you can find and you will find that every speech the Messiah he said it fit for your life today even today we are in the time of the internet and the time of the satellite the time of the cell phone smartphone computers yet what he said to you 2,000 years ago fit for with your life so take a story of Jesus he's saying speaking to the crowd imagine yourself in the crowd try to live the story try to be one of them and he's speaking to you and then you will know how to read the story I will try all right uh, my friend. but but, but I, will, I will try to read, read the Bible first but uh, but I, I I can I can I, 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 I can I can accept uh, Messiah or Jesus uh, I don't want you to accept now. I don't want you to accept unless you believe my friend we are not the same as Muslim they say Shahada without understanding without knowing no we don't do that I you know I, I invite you and still I invite you even though you are right you have to read and understand but I invite you because our life it might be taken from us we go to sleep when maybe we will never wake up again 
So I do my duty to save my friend, the one I believe is a good person, the one I believe he deserves to be saved. His name is Muhammad. I take opportunity to say, hey, Muhammad, I have the best of the best. I have someone, his name is the Messiah, the Christ, the Savior, the Word of God, the Lord, the, the Mighty, the one who is, said, I am the truth. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I invite you to believe in him. And I will leave that for you, my friend. You can call me anytime. You can call and ask me questions. And I'm happy for you that you decide to leave Islam. And I hope that you are one of millions and millions of Indonesian they will leave Islam after listening to my videos. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Shibi. You're welcome. Uh, I, 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 I can I can say anything because I'm shaking right now. Thank you. All right, my friend. I'm happy that you yeah. call me, and I'm honored that I have a, this conversation with you. And even you can invite your parents to speak to me. I will be happy to talk to them. If you want, even we can talk in private, no problem. You know, if you want uh, your parents to speak yeah. to me in private, even if it's going to take 10 hours, I don't care. For me, saving one person is more important than Christian Prince losing his voice. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right? Thank you. Yeah, okay. Take care, my friend. I pray, yeah. I pray, and I ask all those who they are listening, more than 2,000 people listening, pray for our brother Muhammad to see the light, to see the truth, and the truth will set you free. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Muhammad, for calling. Thank you. Thank you, CP. Take care. Bye-bye. Remember, remember that's, you know, this is why I say always, please don't be rude. Don't be aggressive. And Muslims are, there's millions of them. They need your help. They don't know. The Messiah, he said, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. So give them a chance to know. Try to help them. Don't curse them. Don't attack them. Don't call them names that will not help try to be a helper not an enemy muhammad he wanted us to be enemies muhammad he want me and muhammad our friend the one who called here he want him and me to be enemies and now we broke that enemy thing we are not enemies he wanted to be my friend i will be happy to be his friend muhammad lost the devil lost we christian and muslim we should be friends we should be loving each other. Cursing will not make better of you or me. Killing will not make better of you or me. We destroy both life. Both of us, we will be killed. What for? Who is the happy here? The devil. The devil, he is enjoying the party of bloodshed. Love the Muslims and make the devil angry, my friend. Love them. He will be happy if he see you cursing them. For this is what the devil is about. Do as Jesus said. Make the Messiah happy and the devil angry. Love them. Pray for them. So they might know and glorify his name. We are happy for Muhammad that he decided to leave Islam. And at the same time, we pray that him and his family, they will come to Christ soon. If there is any other Muslim would like to call me. Anyone? Uh, hold on. We have a Muslim here. He made a comment. I'm going to put it in the screen. Uh, give me a second. Uh, there is a Muslim. He made a comment. All right. This is a Muslim. He said, Arabian prophet, stop your deceptions. How sure are we that people who call you are Muslims? My friend, because you have an evil heart and you lie, you think everybody is a liar like you. Actually, this guy, he was trying to call me and I was saying, and people, they were calling him coward. Correct, guys? And I said to him, okay, come on. You know, you want to talk to me? Give me your idea. I will call you. There's no way you cannot find me. But because you are a person who is upset, 
You say, how we know that those people are Muslims? As an example, you mentioned Dr. Rohi. Dr. Rohi is a very famous man in Paltok. He is an Egyptian. He lives in Egypt, and he has a PhD, and he's a sheikh. And you go, you can go right now to his spell talk room. Yet even that, you excuse me, that hey, this guy is not from as a university. What I will do to you? <laughs> I feel sorry for you, my friend. It is you. It is you. And look at the name you have. Look at the name you choose. Look at you. I'm not going to curse you. I'm not going to call your names. I feel sorry for you. You put my name next to bad words in the top of your head. You see, that is your head there. Do you see it? That is your head. Because you cannot take it, Christian prince making thousands of Muslims leave Islam. So you decide to put my name and some dirt in the top of your head. Good for you. If that makes you feel comfortable, uh, why not? I mean, pff, what I can say? Maybe the doctor, he said to you that. He said to you, put the name of Christian Prince on the top of your head with some dirt. I am a Muslim and I want to talk to you. Okay, Mr. Ido, where are you, my friend? Give me your, give me your, uh, give me your uh, uh, Skype and I will be happy to call you. Give me your Skype and I will be happy to talk to you. And again, you know, we, we don't allow people to use bad language and bad names. So if you want to speak to us, Mr. You call yourself CP, well, you have to change your name because obviously you are here just to insult. Any Muslim would like to call us? Insult me, no problem. The Lord, he said that this is a blessing for us. You know, you insult me for I'm preaching the name of Jesus. You insult me because I'm taking Muslims out of the cult of Islam. I understand. That is a blessing for me. That's not a, that's not a problem. <clears throat> I think Muhammad himself was the Muslim. The Muslim, they made articles saying ISIS are not Muslims. But everything ISIS did is what Muhammad did. So obviously Muhammad himself is not a Muslim too. Right? Muhammad must, must be, he was a fake Muslim because he is the one who said, go kill, rape, torture. Even Muhammad, he put nails in the eyes of people. Nails. I, I says, like, uh, ISIS did that. They are practicing what the Prophet did. And people, they say to you, look, how I, 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 ISIS are ugly. The Prophet said, be merciful. And merciful, where is that? Where is the merciful prophet? Putting hot burned nails in the eyes of people and crucifying them and cut their feet and their hands and let them die slowly. What kind of punishment this punishment is? This is a punishment of someone full of love and romantic. So Muhammad was eating some grape in his and he have a cup of tea in his hand. And he was heating some nails and he put those people in the cross and he cut their hand and he said to them, I'm merciful. And he cut the other hand and he said to him, you see how merciful I am. And he cut the other feet and he said to him, how much mercy I have. And he cut the, 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 the second feet and he says, do you ever saw mercy like this before? And then he brought nails, he put it in the fire and he put it in their eyes while they are alive and to prove to them that he is super merciful. And yet they give us all the madness of lying, saying that the prophet was a person of mercy. Even Allah, his name is mercy. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Yeah, what about splitting a woman two pieces, as Mr. M.T. said? He brought Ummu Qurfa over the age of 80, and he split her two pieces where she's alive. And yet they say to you that the prophet, he said, a person who gave a dog water, a thirsty dog water, he will go to heaven. But the prophet himself is the one who ordered to kill dogs. So if you give water to dog, you go to heaven. But if you kill dog, you go to heaven.
my friends I really miss you all and I'm really happy to have you today all together I was away for some time I was using my tablet I'm back home now I slept only five hours my fridge is empty from food I did not do shopping yet so I really apologize I need to go and buy some food even though today we are happy to be here together but still at the end of the day there's a limit for how long we can stay otherwise I would be really love to stay more and more however we would do more and more and more and more and I promise and again for people in Indonesia my book is coming to you for free soon I will publish my book in Indonesian and it's going to be 100% as a gift from a Christian Prince to all Indonesian Muslims and Christians you pay nothing for it and I will be happy for you to have it so I'm happy to see Indonesian learning the truth and the truth will set them free and may the Lord provide us with more so we can give more he is our provider he is our supporter we trust no man we trust no women we trust no Christian Prince we trust only one name his name is the Messiah for all man is sinner and everyone is sinner why you trust a man why you trust a person who commits sin why you put your trust in people who change trust the one who never change that is the Messiah my friend we do as much we can to do good but the one who is good he himself is the good the good shepherd is the Messiah once a person he said to the Messiah you are good Jesus said to him why are you calling me good only God is good the Muslim will say to you see Jesus says why are you call me good but the Messiah he says why are you call me good which mean why you are calling me God and Jesus himself he said I am the good shepherd I am the life I am the resurrection I am the truth I am the Alpha I am the Omega I am who I am I am Jehovah your sin is forgiven the Messiah forgive our sin knock at my door and I will open for you and I pray today that before we sleep today we pray to our brother Muhammad who called us to be soon a brother in Christ not only a brother in humanity so he can be saved and I pray too that his family they will contact me and they will speak to me soon so we can save them too thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you all and please pray for Muslims don't be hateful and don't be angry from them control your anger I know sometimes they do things which is really making us upset stay stay patient the same as the Messiah was the devil he want you to lose your patient the devil he want you to hate them the devil he want you to be violent to them the Messiah he don't want you to be which one you choose if we hate the Muslims the devil is the winner he just divided us the same as Muhammad did the Messiah he want us to be loving to them so we can bring them again to be the family the children of God millions of them wonderful people they need your help and let us help them together in Christ's name I pray that what we said will come true and until I see you again may the Lord bless you all and this is a Christian Prince was with you and see you soon again please subscribe and join our channel if you like what we do and I want to say thank you special thanks for those who translate my videos to other languages especially in Indonesian language I saw videos have hundreds of thousands of viewers that's really wonderful may the Lord bless you and from their fruits you shall know them thank you very much